Welcome to First This, a short mindfulness practice and message for any time. I'm Catherine Nikolai, and I'm really glad you're here. I'll give you a couple of options for positions today. If your body allows it and you have space for it, try lying on the floor with your legs stretched up the wall. If you don't have much wall space, a closed door works pretty well, or even using your sofa or a chair to prop your legs up on in a reclining position. You can pause me at any time and get settled. There's no rush. If legs up the wall isn't a good fit for you, I'd like you to lay down in any comfortable position. Maybe you even slide a bolster or a pillow under your knees so that your lower back is comfortable. You might not be used to prioritizing your comfort. That might not be something you give much thought to, but I'd like to suggest that you do. It's important. Hear me say this. Your well-being and comfort are important. Let's take a relaxed breath in through the nose and sigh through the mouth. Yes, one more time, all the way in. And out with a sigh. Good. Now we need a way into this moment and a pretty reliable one is to observe your breath. Just feel the touch of it on your upper lip. You might even be able to feel the small hairs inside your nostrils move. Notice that your inhale is a little cooler. Your exhale slightly warmer. When you realize you're somewhere else, just begin again. It already doesn't matter where or why. In and out. Feel the touch of your breath. Stay with that awareness of your inhale and exhale. Let it be like a drum in the background. a steadying rhythm that keeps you present. I have another Zen story for you today. I 
It's about a man running through the forest, being chased by a tiger. As he runs, the woods thin, and he comes to a cliff. He spots a vine hanging over the edge, and he grabs a hold and swings over. The tiger paces above him, and he looks down to see, on a ledge ten feet below him, another tiger. He looks at the vine he's hanging from and sees a single red strawberry. He eats it and thinks, how sweet. This is a story about finding pleasure in the present. Even when what is behind you and what lays before you is difficult. Still with that relaxed rhythm of breathing in and out. Now, this isn't a story about pretending that everything is good and nothing is scary. Those tigers are real, but so is the strawberry. It's about claiming sweetness, enjoying it, not letting the past or future steal it. The last few years have shown us something that was always true, that we never know what is coming. Still, we have to live, and there will be a hundred small strawberries waiting to be enjoyed each day. Noticing them, having the presence of mind to fully enjoy them. It takes practice, but you've already started. Kurt Vonnegut said it perfectly. I urge you to please notice when you are happy and exclaim or murmur or think at some point, if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Let's go back to just breathing. And let your breath Get a little deeper. If your legs are up the wall, maybe you rotate your ankles. If you're lying on your back, you might flex your toes. Small movements to wake you up maybe even a slow stretch or a yawn. Let's take another breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more for a good day. In and out. Good.